happy Saturday morning everyone um, I am out at my lake property um, this is in Lincoln Missouri it is the only thing I got from my marriage is this property and um, I'm looking around at it and it's a lot of work I'm gonna have to do this summer out here got my boys with me we're gonna be out here this weekend <clears throat> I have a camper on my property that I bought from my neighbor over here and now I'm gonna go see what he's done to his property um, he had his camper underneath this awning here and he um, had started at one point to turn his canopy into a tiny house this is something i would love to do get a a um get a porch like he has built right here to my camper and get this canopy like he's gotten right here and then do the same thing turn it into a tiny house and um that would be my retirement and I think that's what he's kind of planning on doing. Um, you can see over here he's started to add a bathroom. And so it's pretty cool. I'm thinking, wow, I'd love to do that. And so he sold me his um, camper. And I have a camper now on my property. My husband took the camper. And my husband had um, destroyed all my decorations and um, property by cutting down trees to get our old camper off of our land and um, <clears throat> he didn't care what damage he did and last summer I came out here um, the last two summers I had been out here doing a lot of work I added gravel and I added the camper and my kids and I came out here last summer had everything all mowed and everything and we went to Disney World in July of last year and um, oh and then once school started in September and I started working a new job I fell just about weeks after being um, at work and uh, fell broke my wrist and my elbow in the two-year-old classroom so I had not been out here for about nine months. Um, family members have been out here um, and just checking on my property for me, but um, it's trashed. It's trashed. Uh, the winter and um, weather has just really trashed my property um, on top of what my husband left that I didn't get done. So. I decided I would come out here. It's going to be like in the 60s, 70s high today. The sun is shining on me and I'm getting hot already, but I haven't done any work yet. <clears throat> I am hoping to weed eat this area right here in the grassy area and um, clean up this oasis area that's been destroyed. Um, I have a basketball goal for my boys right here and this spring I'm going to be adding some gravel right here so they can play. Um, I have a boat that is um, mine for fishing on the pond that we have nearby. The pond is not on our property, but the pond is um, just around the corner, so not too far. And um, I have my car right here and um, I had gravel put in but it starts up there so I need to um, get the gravel like I said to go out to the street and um, then around to the other side and I'll show you that here in a minute so I had these shutters right here um, I think I'm going to try to um, add shutters to my the summer and I would like to um, add a skirt to my camper. This area was a 
um, oasis area right here. I had it all cleaned up. Um, my husband has these big trees here. I'll show you here in a minute that he left, um, that he cut down and just, sh just left on my property. Um, and, uh, I would like to get a wood chipper out here. Those trees cut down. I actually have a guy friend who's going to come out here and maybe do it for me. But he's going to um, cut down the trees. And then I have a wood chipper that I would like to get um, and wood chip this whole middle area right here. This is my oasis area. As a single mom, um, having this area um, and this place is very important to me to keep. Um, we had gotten this for my boys. Um, I'm the one with the three boys, so it made sense for me to get this. And I got the property in exchange for half of my husband's 401k. Um, it's about the same amount of money I would have gotten. So um, I am going to try to work on this. Um, in the next couple of weeks coming down here to the property and fixing all this area up um, But you can see where I had kind of a little oasis area with rocks um, It's just all grown and because I never got wood chips out here It's not that pretty and I'm gonna have to weed eat all this um, This um, Is some storage stuff that I had pulled out of the house that I had um, and we left out here I am going to be moving this today um, and putting it over towards my camper a little bit um, it does look like the wind has blown off the door um, there's my bunny rabbit and my solar lights um, but all the stuff is gonna have to be cleaned up taken to the dump um, up the street and um, I'm just going to try to clean all this up. Um, the door to that sword unit is over here. <laughs> so I know it had to have been a windstorm that came through here. Um, so I have some gravel here. You can see this is where they dug um, a trench for my electricity. And so... Um, all this had been dug up last summer I had all this on my videos you guys and my old videos are destroyed um, because I took my channel down and didn't save them so that's why I'm kind of redoing this video um, again I'm gonna get another truckload this summer of gravel and it's gonna go right here and finish up this driveway um, this is my camper and it looks like a wind um, came and got this um, and tore this up. So we are going to have to make sure that this is closed. Um, coming down here and then breaking my arm and not making it back down here. This is the kind of stuff I wish I would have done before I left the first time. Um, and so I'm going to have to see if I can get my son out here to help either just remove that completely or um, see if we can fix it okay um, when I came out here we got here 10 30 last night and it was dark so we couldn't see anything and see the condition of everything um, and so this is the first time this morning it's about 10 this morning so uh, it's not early early um, but this is the front entrance of my camper as you can see I have a rug and a bench out here that I sit on and um, <clears throat> there's our fire pit over here a fire pit um, I eventually this summer would like to add a porch to the front of my camper here and all this right here is my property I love it all of my property these are the big trees that my husband um, just tore down and left and I'm standing on gravel here that I have already put in like I said it goes to my car 
over here. And um, all that property over there is mine. Um, we were going to put in a playground for my kids. Um, and I don't think I'm going to be doing that um, as of right now. My kids don't really care to play on the playground anymore. And um, the pallets that I have over here, I'm going to be able to use for something else. Uh, last time we were out here, there was an armadillo walking around. And the kids just had so much fun chasing that armadillo around. He was so cute. But um, you can see where we've had some campfires out here last summer. And uh, I think we're going to be grilling out cheeseburgers tonight on the grill. Um, now would be a good time for me to weed eat out here because it's not fully grown. Um, so it rained last night and so I don't know if weed eating is going to happen this weekend. But I would like to try. Um, because there's no trees here, everything has kind of been um, dying off. And uh, we made this whole walkway over here last um, summer. It was me who actually did this all by myself. Very proud of myself. Um, Christian single mom out here enjoying the nature that God gave to me and has blessed me with. Um, I love it. I love it out here. Uh, like I said, this is going to be my retirement out here. And I got big plans for this area and um big plans for the future out here um so here i am i just kind of walked around the um in a circle here is my camper now and um a lot of these woods and sticks and stuff we're gonna have to clean up and throw in the fire pit burn them down uh this tree here is one that my husband did. This is the other side of that tree. And here's our grill that my husband left me. And um, so I will be able to grill out hamburgers tonight. Um, like I said, up here, I'm gonna put a skirt on up there and a porch this uh, summer. That's my goal. I have a couple of guy friends that are gonna come out here and help me out. And they saw the area and they said, man, your husband has done you wrong. So we're going to help you out. So it's great to have friends that are going to come and help. And uh, I'm hoping we'll be able to sing gospel songs around the campfire and stuff. It'll be fun. Um, I have friends that are going to come out here uh, this um, summer. And um, I know they're going to be hard workers out here and help me out so <clears throat> my old uh, neighbors are also going to be coming out here this summer um, a single mom neighbor and another single mom neighbor and a married couple uh, they're all friends with my kids and they're all coming out here and we're gonna have a great time of just fellowship together um, this tree has got to go and then once it's actually two or three trees that are sitting here there's two on top of each other and then one big one and i'm glad in a way that my husband left me that because it is going to decorate this whole area with wood chips um, once i get that wood chipper and get that done so um hopefully i can get this done all of this done before summer hits and it's too hot um, um that's going to be my main goal um, this is my property uh, right here where this is a playground area that is my storage box right there that's tipped over I'm gonna be having my son come and get that and take it up to my camper um, and there was toys in it but we emptied it last summer and then um, I had asked him to take it up there already and he didn't do it so we're gonna clean all this out all these pallets um, this pallet I would like to have moved up to my camper because it's going to become an outdoor shower. So um, we are going to put those pallets there. And then over here is that walkway I just walked through right here. And then we have this great big huge um, tire swing uh, tire 
that I would like to put up in my oasis area for a garden. Um, I think it'd be really pretty. And then I have another one. So we can put that out front once we get that all done, roll it up the hill and go get that, um, put flowers in there and they're gonna become my flower beds. And I think it's gonna be really cute. Um, this tree uh, was gonna be a tree house. My husband started to build. Um, he did a really lousy job of making it secure up there. But we're gonna climb up there. We're gonna take all that down and start over again um, professionally. And so all that's gonna go down and that's gonna become the floor that pallet up there in the tree is going to become my floor to my shower house. So it's going to go right there. And um, super excited to build that shower house out with these pallets that I have on my property already. So free shower house. Woohoo! Um, and it's going to be an outdoor shower. So um, the swing is going to stay right here. And this area is going to be a play area. But I'm going to get a real playground um, out here uh, with wood chips and a border and do it the way I wanted to do it originally. Um, you know, this is one of those things where I have envisioned what I wanted on the property for a very long time. Um, well, we got this property and uh, my husband just, uh, he tried to do what um, he wanted to do out here also. And it just was kind of halfway done. So, um, and then he just, dumped it all in into my lap when uh we went through our divorce so um these are my trees here um and here is a road um you're not gonna be able to tell that this is a road but i did weed eat all this i have it on video i think still uh but i did weed eat all of this area um all the way down to this road right here uh i did all this oh last summer or the summer before i can't remember but um i would like to put a fence right here um and put a gate right here so nobody can get on my property from this area um there's some big rocks i just stepped on right here and so that kind of gives a nice little border right here um along the edge of my property so i like that that that's there if i could ever get some more big big rock like that i could put that in front of the fence too but um i just want to do like a pallet fence right there it's not going to be like fancy smanchy or anything um i do have one rod iron fence that i have um i could I don't know how I would put it in the ground though. I need something built actually right here because, um, yeah, I don't think I could do a, uh, rod iron because of that rock right there. So I was thinking I do have half of a fence and I would have to just buy one more probably, or maybe two more of those fences, um, to do that. But this is my property. Um, and now I'm on the road and this road is a very steep, hill road and the trees right here are covering this road this road is hardly ever used um it's not really a road uh so it's kind of weird to call it a road but my property is even all the way up to here until about right here so i have about half an acre um it's four lots and that is my property now, if I keep going up this road up here um, to where these trees right here are um, gathered together, that is my father's property. So, um, not really sure what he's planning on doing with that property, but I will be inheriting that property. And, um, There is one person between us. I've already talked to that owner, and when he sells his property, he's gonna sell it to me. He already said um, he would sell it to me, and then I can um, link it to my father's property. And so if we do that, I am going to probably add a walkway between the two properties, and um, I eventually would like 
to start a ministry um, and use it um, what I have so as a single mom it's very difficult for me out here to um, do the things I need to do out here but I'm trying I'm trying my best um, so this is the hill <laughs> that is considered a road um, it's mostly dirt bike road and it is straight uphill not kidding but um, this side from here on over to the top of that road up there um, up there is my dad's property he's got nine lots and all those trees are my dad's so um, he was talking about putting a house out here but I think it's um, something that I will probably put a house out here um, eventually on my own um, and so I wanted to do a tour of my property for you guys and um, just kind of talk to you about the circumstances I'm in as a Christian single mom now um, I pray over this property um, pray that my kids can have many memories I can bring my grandkids out here um, my daughter-in-law's mother lives out here so it's very nice that um, I can spend time with her when I'm out here um, and it's just peaceful it's peaceful last night when we drove in um, stars in the sky right here you could see them all it's so beautiful I love it I love it it's so pretty out here and calm and um, I'm gonna love living out here when I move out here um, I can't wait to be able to um, move out here So it's a nice little walk between my dad's property and my property. I didn't show you my dad's property. I just showed you the trees. But um, I feel very, 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 very blessed. Um, it is a little soggy out here because of the rain. And I wish I would have brought my selfie stick, but it is at home. So I did not do that. Um, I love my view of my property from here. That's why I faced the um, camper going down the hill so I could see all of this behind me. As I'm sitting on my front porch, I'll be able to see all of this. And it's just land, and it's really pretty. Um, if I put in a fence right here where I'm stepping up now, then, um, it won't be a tall fence. So I still want to be able to see. It would just be kind of a border fence. More decoration than privacy fence. Um, and, you know, I thought it was actually going to be worse out here than it is. Um, my dad actually called me and said he was out here last weekend and said, it's destroyed out there. It's destroyed. You need to go. And I was thinking it was going to be worse than it is. So um, it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. And I have bad knees. I need knee replacements. Don't know when that's going to happen. But... Um, I'm going to do with what I got, you know, and how I can do things. And so, feeling very blessed. I just wanted to share my journey with you, journey around my property. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. God bless you guys. Bye.